public throw criticism about the handling of it. Well, not from the, the, the government's point of view. We worked uh, in the UK government very closely with the Scottish government and very closely with uh, uh, the company who we were talking to three hours and the union who we were talking to three hours and we were urging them to, to get together and try and resolve it. And it has now been resolved. Let me turn to the words of uh, Jim Ratcliffe, the chairman of ARC. Please speak into the UNC this morning. Council yesterday, who told us that uh, some subcontractors had been laid off in the time that it took to resolve this. Yes, we were facing a very potentially extremely serious uh, situation. Not simply the uh, the loss of jobs at the plant itself, but obviously the uh, uh, work further out in the suppliers to the plant. Uh, there are a lot of jobs associated with Grinch work that uh, potentially were at risk as well. But um, I'm glad, you know, we've not just stepped back from that, but we're now going to see investment going into the future. That's the Business Minister, Michael Fallon. And uh, we're joined live on the programme now by Scotland's First Minister, Alex Salmon. Good evening. Good evening. Um, lots of ground to cover, um, but first of all, how are you feeling tonight about this? Well, it's a, a big turnaround in 48 hours. I mean, Wednesday was a day of desolation, today is one of satisfaction, uh, and a bit of joy, actually, uh, because the, the point about what's happened, you know, what is actually going to happen, is that the plant, uh, the uh, Fish Chemicals Plant, is not just secure for this week, next week, next year. It's secure for 25 years. This is a 25-year horizon investment. 